so we're on the move because this morning is an action pack flick like one we haven't seen yet this summer. It's Machete. Machete. I think it's going to be a really, really great B movie. Uh, I believe that this movie is probably going to be on par with the trailer from 2007, which was awesome. I think it's going to be Robert Rodriguez proving that sometimes when you bring a knife to a gunfight, you can win. So you guys know I'm a very hard sell on violence. Like, you can't really sell me on violence. But I found myself through the whole movie, like people's heads were being sliced in half and I was like smiling, like my cheeks hurt because I smiled the entire movie. And I think that if you, if you, I think if you go along with the absurdity of it from minute one, you're just with it, the whole movie. It never gets boring, not once. Which you can't say for hardly any other movies we've seen this summer. The funny thing is, as you say, if you go along with the absurdity, you can't miss the absurdity. It's there, it's in your face, and that's what is brilliant about the movie. I mean, it's it's so absurd. So anybody that wants to get their panties in a bunch about like a Mexican uprising or something, dude, I don't know. I, I walk out of this thing, I wanna be a Mexican. It's ridiculous, <laughs> and it, it's like the Mexican shaft, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, and, and and the other thing is that they make jokes that are that are kind of jokes against Mexicans at the same time. You know, and only a Mexican director can do something like that I and get away with that it. that too. Like a white dude cannot direct. No way. No way. Yeah. But, well, I mean, and that's the thing. It's it, yeah, it makes fun of like the different situations with like immigrations and the and the border fences and all the stuff that's in the news right now. I mean, it's an incredibly timely movie to be going on, but it also makes fun of itself. And I think the entire it's it's very equal in that way. And it just makes it awesome. I was telling these guys on the way out of the theater, um, out of all the movies that I've seen in a long time, I mean, they can be technically amazing like Avatar, but this is the funnest movie I have seen in a long time. I agree. Where I was just laughing and. I mean, yeah, there's some sick violence in it, but it's awesome. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I remember when I first saw the trailer for this, uh, almost three and a half years ago now, when I saw Grindhouse, and then they made it, and I'm like, okay, every scene from the trailer is in the movie, and I was waiting for those things, and then I was, I was waiting for how they'd connect it together, and it's so violent and so awesome to watch that it, it was worth the wait. And it's just like, it's a good Grindhouse film. It's fun that they're making these now. Yeah. Because, you know, Avatar is a good film, you know, but it's not Citizen Kane. It's not like Inception. Yeah. It's a movie about a pissed off Mexican with machetes cutting people up. Yeah. And I can support that. And the yeah. cast is crazy to me because you have the Nash Bridges reunion, you know, and, and <laughs> kind of. And you have the, uh, you have Robert De Niro, you have Lindsay Lohan. Yes, there's lots of like boobies and naked women, but I think that this is like a boy's wet dream because there's just so much just nonsensical, over the top violence that you, you have to laugh at and you actually have to enjoy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's romance. There is. You, ha you cannot discount the romance in this. I mean, Machete is such a badass cabron that, you know, I mean, the women are just drawn to him. And I think any woman, I don't know, Jen, you tell me, like, did you, I a mean. A true gentleman. Yeah. A true, true gentleman, as Jessica Alba says. I mean, come on, did you not find his mochismo, like, a little bit? You know, it's weird, because as we watch, and, and all of the sort of women that are attracted to him as it's happening, I'm like, you know, I could see in real life how probably Danny Trejo's probably, people are attracted to him because of his personality. You can tell he has to be a fun guy to do a movie like this. Yeah. And, um... It's still does. No. <laughs> no. Look, sorry, well, Danny. I, You're first... awesome. You were so good. But you know, it, it... well, he said in an interview, uh, they said like being a leading man means I get to make out with Jessica Alba. And some of the lines, which are perfect in beat, machete don't text. Yeah. <laughs> you know, machete improvises. Hilarious. Yeah. Tish Marriott was great. I loved. I loved like all the cameo appearances, and and uh, I like seeing like Don Johnson as a as a bad, as bad guy from you know the Nash Bridges era and yeah. stuff. And then it's just it was fun seeing like Jessica Alba do something a little bit different. Yeah. Where usually she kind of plays more of like oh she hasn't been anything in a while anyway. So and then Michelle Rodriguez isn't normally that hot. I'm just yeah she she was I agree. smoking. She was really really smoking. I mean I, I mean part of it for me was that. Michelle found a soft side for the first time ever in any movie I've ever yeah. seen her in. Normally yeah. she's just straight badass, but I was like, wow, I really like her. And this, oh shit, she's hot too. Yeah. How much?
much fun was it to watch Robert De Niro in that role? Yeah. And then especially at the end when they were like, when he's like becomes the Mexican, like before he even suited up. It wasn't even the suiting up that was funny. It was the thought that he was going to suit up right, and be yeah, a right, Mexican. Right. You can tell he had more fun making this movie than uh, Little Fockers, which comes out in a few months. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Because it's just like, you watch the trailer for that and you're just like, he's like, I'm here again. And then you watch him and he's just like, I get, to, I get to be the most racist, bigoted bastard on the planet. Yeah. They're pain. Yes. Yeah. I don't think I really saw him do much of his right I'm Bob no, no I'm Bob De Niro you know sort of thing that was a probably a the only thing that came in was his accent but other than that it wasn't it wasn't the the normal yeah. thing that you're used end, to seeing he said I'm not really from here so the right, accent right. was okay I, I was I was liking that that the violence level in this film was so high and so over the top. Just like you see him go in in the beginning with the machetes, he's just like lopping off heads and just yeah. lopping off limbs, and then picks up the hand with the gun and starts shooting people with it. Yeah, it's like ah. <laughs> It's good. Yeah, I, I feel like I've it's had like a, having a coke. Yeah, it is. I've had a, <laughs> having a coke. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I've I've had a very satisfying movie going experience today. I mean, it was it was awesome. Plus, yeah. I, I love at the very end of the, uh, the end of the credits, like Machete will be back and Machete kills. Yeah. And Machete kills again. again. I'm like, yeah, make it, do it, fund it right yeah. now. The, this style of directing is something that Rodriguez has been going from day one yeah. when he had Desperado, like the original El Mariachi. What, yeah, or El Mariachi. Yeah. I mean, he's always done this kind of campy, cartoony, grindhouse, B-movie-ish type of thing. And he's finding that these actors, and even great actors like De Niro, like to go in and just play. So he can create these things. And you can all, you always see the same cast of characters. Tom Savini was back in this one. Obviously, uh, Danny's been in like three or four of his movies. So he likes bringing these people back and working with them because it's fun. But I think Rodriguez is kind of brilliant where his brilliant shows when doing this is that it almost, like you say, it's, it is very El Mariachi. When I was watching, I was like, this is like El Mariachi on crack or something. And to be, able to, <laughs> well, mm -hmm. but to be able to continue with that style, how many years later? Has it been 20 years? I mean, how long has it been? Almost it like be, 18 years. We just, it's like it fits. He, you know, like, could you could I, could I you imagine it being shot in the other way? Like, you couldn't shoot this like a serious movie. It, this movie would suck if you, tried to, if you tried to take a serious tone with it. That's what's brilliant about it is that it's not. It's all tongue in cheek. And, um, um, I think in any other way it it would be a horrible movie let me ask you this Jen not being like a fan of violence even though you enjoyed this do you I mean do you see a life expectancy for this type of film or do you think it's gonna be a fad maybe like 3d or something like that that's gonna wind up burning out do I think other directors are gonna copy this and do I mean, this if, style if, 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 for sh probably the question will be is if when indie filmmakers try to start copying this are they able to pull off the essence of what Rodriguez can pull off? I had I had fun. Uh, if you want to see a movie that you don't have to take very seriously at all, go see it. I'd have to say someone like Jen in your position, like if you're usually not a fan of violence, um, this is like ultra violence, uh, and it's so violent it's humorous. So I mean, you don't have to be afraid of, about it with this. People, I, I was laughing out loud. I, I really think it was more comedy than than a violent film, but uh, you know. And it has a great message. Don't fuck with Machete. I recommend it. Uh, I, it's one of those films that they said they were going to make that I never thought happened. And it's over the top violent and it's great. And it's just, it's one of those things that you're just going to enjoy watching with your friends. And watch over a few beers and it's going to be even better. So, I'm seeing it again. So, like when they, when Rodriguez and Tarantino teamed up and did the whole Grindhouse thing, I, I thought they were okay, they were kind of cute, but I, I didn't really like them. Like I didn't leave thinking that was fun. Yeah. And this I left thinking that was fun. So it isn't the violence, it isn't the over the top violence, it isn't the corny violence. It's the essence of how Robert Rodriguez made this movie. It just, he made it somehow that I thought it was funny when someone's head was cut in half. It's brilliant, like how, how do you do that? That's genius. I like how the entire thing is set around like Texas politics and they're shooting in front of like the Capitol building and all of that stuff. I'm like all, and, and there's like people dying in front of it. It's like, who do you call to be like, yeah, we'd like to shoot on the street. There's just gonna be, you know, a couple things blowing up and a bunch of a, a dead Mexicans going on and stuff like that. Can we do that? Oh yeah, sure, sure Robert, Texas. go ahead. It's Texas. Yeah. You're like, We're gonna kill like eight Mexicans in front of the Capitol building for a movie, is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Can you make it 20? I just want to yeah. set a point. I mean, it's, no, but it's, it's Texas. Like, I spent a lot of time there, and it's just like, okay, Mr. Rodriguez, you have a nice day. Click. <laughs> <Like. laughs>